Texas. University TV has made it all the way to Texas Tech University. I'm Nicole Aaron. And I'm Shayna Jean, and we're hoping you guys will join us on our campus tour. Let's go! is located in Lubbock, Texas, full of outdoor adventures in the nearby lakes and canyons of West Texas and Eastern New Mexico. I think since Lubbock is just a pure college town, no matter where you go in the city, most of the people are Texas Tech students. So you don't ever feel like an outcast, whether you're going out to the clubs or going out to uh, the mall. Everybody who either works there or that's there, they're actually Texas Tech students. Texas Tech's 1,839 acre pedestrian and bike friendly campus features Spanish Renaissance architecture, several fountains, and a public art collection. Beep, beep, coming through! When I came to Tech, I knew right away this is where I wanted to be. I just love the campus. I loved how Lubbock itself was so supportive of Tech, and everyone was just so friendly and welcoming, and I knew this is where I wanted to be. Texas Tech's undergraduate enrollment is just over 23,000. 55% male, 45% female, and 27% come from diverse backgrounds. The student to faculty ratio is 18 to 1, with the average class size between 37 and 58 students. The admissions policy at Texas Tech University is primarily based upon SAT, ACT, and then their high school class ranking. After that, we look at students in a holistic review process. Their activities in their high school experience, leadership, organizational involvement, uh, community and civic engagement, those are all pieces that are important criteria for students at Texas Tech University. Texas residents can expect to pay about $4,500 a year in tuition. Those coming from out of state will pay closer to $13,000, and an additional $7,500 will go toward room and board fees. We have over 150 academic programs across 10 colleges at the institution. Texas Tech was founded as an engineering and textile university primarily, but we have used that foundation in science and manufacturing and industry to propel the institution forward. Some of the top majors are exercise and sports science, psychology, mechanical engineering, and human development and family studies. The expectations my students should have is that they're going to get, you know, a very interdisciplinary type of approach to history, very open forum in the sense that there's an open dialogue between myself and the students. Uh, even with larger numbers, we tend to incorporate some sort of a dialogue, so it's not just basic lecture, write notes, and so forth. I teach a seminar class about the Rio Grande River, so we use the Rio Grande um, as a focus for looking at how the physical environment affects the culture, the history, the science, and the environmental problems of a region, and the highlight of that class is a week-long canoe trip down the Rio Grande River and Big Bend over spring break. Students can extend their education overseas by taking courses at the Texas Tech Centers in Seville, Spain or Quedlinburg, Germany, or studying abroad in one of more than 40 countries worldwide. Want to do undergraduate research? Well, there's over 1,000 students each year who are doing research projects with faculty mentors. There's also internship opportunities available too, like the Congressional Internship where students get to live in the Tech House in Washington, D.C. Pretty cool, huh? There are 1,208 full-time faculty and 233 part-time, 626 are tenured, and 83% hold a PhD or terminal degree. The Texas Tech Red Raiders compete at the NCAA Division I level as members of the South Division of the Big 12 Conference. There is a great support of the community at the games, and the students are very much a part of that experience, and they. They're fortunate enough to get free tickets to the game, so there's quite a bit of a turnout and they're very, very involved. We have a lot of traditions with the band and a lot of things that you do during the game. It's really, really, really fun. Um, and our mascot um, is the mass rider and they're on a horse, so there's a horse on the field um, and they ride up and down, which is really awesome. As if being a part of a Big 12 school wasn't cool enough, students at Texas Tech get to choose their own bunkmate and dining plan. And then you choose the room from one of the 12 residents and two suite style halls and the one apartment complex. Ooh. Hey, Rumi. Hello. Students get the opportunity to choose from different themed halls like intensive study, substance free, and learning communities. Guess what? What? Your turn to take out the trash. Ew. A lot of the residence halls um, will put together intramural teams, and so I played flag football with my residence hall. I was really bad at it because I'm not very coordinated. Um, but it was really, really fun because when you're messing up on a football field, it's really easy to meet people. 
There are over 400 clubs and organizations available at Texas Tech, from cultural to service and recreational. And there are 45 fraternities and sororities on campus, and about 15% of the student body goes green. Isn't this your sorority? You've got to show high fives and love. In addition, the university offers 28 club sports such as lacrosse, polo, swimming, rugby, men's soccer, and ice hockey. Some notable alumni at Texas Tech include Bernard Harris, a doctor of medicine who became the first African American to walk in space. So go against the odds and define the gravity of the situation when you go red at Texas Tech University. In every college town, you'll find a street that's a one-stop shop for everything students need. And that's Broadway, conveniently located right across the street from Texas Tech. That's where we're ending it.